It's another Monday here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're going to talk about solving system of nonlinear equations using elimination method. Starting off with y squared equal to x plus 3 and 2y equal to x plus 4. So the given equations here are not all linear. We have also a parabola here wherein we have y squared equal to x plus 3. That's a parabola. And we have also 2y plus, equal to x plus 4, which is a linear. So that is why we're calling this one a system of nonlinear equations so we're, because we're not expecting to have all linear equations present in our system. So we will be solving now for our values for x and y which satisfies or hold true for this particular system. So meaning to say it will be true for the first equation and the second equation. So we'll start off by eliminating a variable there. So if you are going to use the elimination method, you have to pick on or check on whether you've got their same variable with the same exponent because we cannot eliminate... Um, variable with different exponents although you can but you have to add more steps on it so that is why if you are using elimination method you must make sure that you can right away do eliminate that particular variable by checking whether they have the same exponent and same variable so for this one we have the same x variable here and we have the same exponent which is one so this is a good scenario wherein we can apply our elimination method. But first, since we are going to use elimination method using addition, uh, we may choose on multiplying one equation here so that the x here will be with opposite sign on the other equation. So if I may choose on the uh, second equation that will be multiplied with negative 1 so that our x there will become a negative so we will be transforming this one into a negative 2y because we're multiplying everything here by negative 1 so 2y times negative 1 that will be negative 2y equal to negative 1 times x that will be negative x and then we have plus 4 times negative 1 that will become a negative 4. Or literally, once you multiply that 1 with a negative 1, everything or every sign therein in that particular equation will be changed. So from positive 2y to negative 2y, from positive x to negative x, from positive 4 to negative 4. So right after that 1, we are going to rewrite our first equation. We have here y squared equal to x plus Three. This time we are going to eliminate variable here using our addition. So we can simply eliminate this because positive x plus negative x, that would lead to a zero. So that will be eliminated. Adding everything else, we have here y squared plus negative 2y, that cannot be. So we are going to simply add or write down y squared followed with minus 2y equal to and then we add 3 plus negative 4 that will be a negative 1. Right after that one we can now move negative 1 to the other side because this is quadratic in nature if you try to examine we have the highest exponent here is 2 so this would simply tell us that this is quadratic so that is why we have to move everything else to the left side and have the right side equal to a 0 so we have here y squared minus 2y that's plus 1 because we're adding 1 here and adding 1 also here and then we have a plus 1 equal to a 0 so since this is quadratic we can now uh, try to solve our y using any method like factoring or you can use the quadratic formula so whichever you wanted to use uh, it will lead to the same answer. So for this one, since this is factorable, uh, we can try to factor it out using 
the factoring method wherein you've got there y, the square root of y squared, that will be one component of each of the factor here. And then we have a one here, which is the product in which we are going to look for factors. Once we multiply the factors, it will lead to a one. And then once we add, the sum will be the number in the middle, which is negative two. So since this is positive one is a product, we can choose on factors of one, which got the same sign. So we can have it as a negative one times negative one, positive one times positive one. That would lead to a positive one. But since we have a sum here, which is negative two, we will be choosing on the negative one. Because if you try to add up negative one and negative one, that will be equivalent to negative two, which is the sum, which is found in the middle. So this is equal to a zero. So solving for y we have now, we can equate our factors. We have y minus one equal to a zero. And then we have y minus one as well equal to a zero. Our y here is one. Our y here is also 1. So meaning to say, our y value here is 1, multiplicity of 2. Meaning to say, we've got y value, which is a repeated, which is equal to 1. Now let's try to solve for our x. So we will now be solving for x. So solving for x, we can choose on any equation. You may choose on the first equation. You may choose on the second equation. So whichever you wanted to use, that would lead to the same answer or result. So I'll be using on the first equation. So we have y squared equal to x plus 3. We're solving for x. So we can simply replace our y here with 1. So if y is 1, that means to say that replacing y here with 1, we square that 1 equal to x plus 3 y squared is 1, I mean 1 squared is 1, that's equal to x plus 3. We move 3 to the other side so that we can solve for x. So by simply subtracting this side with 3 and also with this side, so we have that as 1 minus 3 equal to an x. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, that's equal to x. Our x value there is a negative 2. So... Uh, you may try to check your answer if that is correct. So, by the way, your coordinate as a solution of this system is going to be if x is negative 2, our y is 1. So, that's our solution for the system. But first thing, if you want to check, we can do the checking here. We can utilize any of the equation or all of the equation and replace our y and x in there. So, we'll start with the first equation y squared equal to x plus 3. Our value x is negative 2. Our value of y is 1. So we have 1 squared equal to negative 2 plus 3. 1 squared, this is checking, so we have to put question mark in there. 1 squared, that's 1, equal to, is that really equal to negative 2 plus 3? Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. That is correct. So let's try to plug in the values on the second equation and check whether that is correct. So 2y equal to x plus 4. And then our y value is 1. So we have 2 times 1. Our uh, x value is negative 2 and then plus 4. And then we have 2 times 1 is 2 equal to negative 2 plus 4. That will be a 2. They are correct. That means to say our solution here of our system of nonlinear equation is negative 2, 1.